It's often said that we are our memories, that web of experiences, relationships, thoughts, and feelings that make us who we are. We don't remember it all, of course. That would be impossible. Or would it? There's been a discovery in the field of memory recently, so new you won't find it in any textbook, so hard to fathom, there are some who remain unconvinced. For the moment, the scientists studying it are simply calling it superior autobiographical memory. And unless you happen to know one of the handful of people discovered so far who have it, get ready to be amazed. Louise Owen is 37 years old and a professional violinist living in New York City. But she has another gift, too, one that is far more rare. Let me give you a date. Let's say January 2nd, 1990. Right now I'm remembering the jogging class that I started that morning. And you're actually back there. I'm, I'm, I can feel it. I can remember the coach saying, keep going. <laughs> that was more than 20 years ago when she was 16. A date I picked completely at random as I did this one. February 18th, 1988. 1988. Oh. <laughs> You're laughing. I'm laughing. It was a Thursday. I had a big conversation with a friend of mine, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Louise says she can remember every day of her life since the age of 11. Try to talk us through, can you do that? How, sure. how it works. Um, out of the air. April 21st, 1991. 1991. Okay, April 21st. So in the moment between April 21st and 1991, I have scrolled through 25 April 21sts thinking, which one is it going to be? Which one is it going to be? Okay, 1991, which was a Sunday. And I was in Los Angeles, and I had a concert with the American Youth Symphony. You went to the most important thing right. that happened that, that, that day. Right, that was the most, I mean, you probably don't want to hear about, you know, sort of the day. Oh, I got up in the morning, and I got dressed. And <laughs> you, yeah, you remember that. Yeah. You remember right. what you had for lunch? Um, not what I had for lunch that day, but I do remember what I had for dinner the night before. <laughs> so... <laughs> And effortless. It just pops right. in. I mean, for me, it's almost as automatic as if you say, what is your name and where do you live? But how do we know that what she says she remembers really happened? Enter James McGaw, a professor of neurobiology at the University of California, Irvine, and a renowned expert on memory. 